What's up everyone, I'm Iteration Funk and today we're back in Exoria. You know it's a good pack when you actually play outside of recording hours. I've been so tempted to log, uh, log on at so many different hours of the day and just come here and grind out, you know, all of the different stuff that we need. Look at all that charcoal. It's, uh, <laughs> that's so nice. I have uh, moved this back a bit. I replaced the heat source with fire. Lava is a bit worse in sky resources, so this is now fire. Ash will never burn out, so might as well use it. And you know, yeah, I moved this into the wall and uh, these plate uh, casts and stuff are also in the wall until it comes a time when I need them. And I moved the, uh, moved the uh, opening here so the light comes in at a different angle so this is as dark as possible without actually triggering the groove so it's a light level of two down here if we get a light level of one the groove will start eating our bones you know chewing on <laughs> chewing on our head and you know the orb berry bushes are not that bad we can get between one to three orb berries and I've been smelting a few of them but then I realized to make the chests we actually don't, these are all addicted to nuggets so we don't really need to smelt them down, which is, it's a bit neat, so we're gonna do chests today, yeah chests, it's gonna be nice because, you know, I like, I like the shelves from Immersive Craft, I don't like the chests or the cupboards, but the shelves are really good, but I'm over it, let's get to chests today, and I crafted some of the build craft stuff we now have, this is actually a gravity feed transport pipe, which has a built-in engine. Gravity feed, it's an engine. And the engines are really easy, it's no redstone or anything, you just give it gears and planks. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. So, if we demonstrate this, you put something here, and it pulls. And it's a lot faster than just the regular engine, but you need to pull, uh, pull from the bottom, I think. And yeah, look how green this area is. I actually got some tall grass and made it into pasture seeds from the, you know, botana pools. And yeah, we have grass now. And at some point I might even go for the vivid pasture seed, which is just cactus. Or cactus or ferns, I guess. But yeah, we're coming along nicely here. Nice and green. I really enjoy having a bit of color in here since it's all it's all black otherwise so the tips and tricks uh, or I guess yeah tips and tricks thread for Exoria by Borg286 is up he did one for Sevtech and there's one for Exoria now so you can go check that out I think I'll link uh, I'll have a link in a pinned comment or desk the description if you want to see a bunch of cool tips I enjoy reading them uh, as long as you don't contain any spoilers, <laughs> because I think this is this is a pack with a lot of backstory. So yeah, we have some neat things to cover, but first, let's take a look at... I changed the strainers again. I had misunderstood them a bit. The check is actually done on the block directly above the base. So this just needs to be flowing, and the adjacent block can be water. So we get the full bonus, and... We don't get the minus 3% because the source block is one or more blocks away. And you know, we can place them next to each other like this. It's kind of nice. But I'm gonna tear that up later because I think I want to automate it with the feed pipes. And pull that into the chests we'll make. And yeah, one really cool feature that I would have loved to know about earlier is the compress key. You can take, for example, oh, low. No. So much long. Can take the dirt, hover over it, and press K, and it's gonna compress it into the dirt, which is nice because you know that's one less step to getting a lot of dirt. And I've used a lot of dirt. Let's put this stuff away. I have so much loam; it's it's crazy. Another incredibly helpful tip is that the conversion wand can be used for many things including mining so you can replace any block with saplings or I guess this would work with uh, uh, cact 
cacti or sugarcane or something like that that has a conditional check when it's placed, like saplings need to be on dirt. So if we shift right click Q, select saplings, it will take saplings from our inventory, and I have 32 on me, and replace the blocks here. So if I right click, you know, the saplings will pop off because they can't stand on basalt, but it will also replace the basalt and it will drop. So do you want to mine quickly? And oh, that's a dark spot. I think the grew would kind of jump us from here. So, you know, bring a lot of lights, but you can get a lot of basalt easily with this. Let's clear you with left click. So we won't, uh, we won't, first of all, we want craft furnace we can make now. It's a bit of a better furnace. We need copper plates, uh, stone and one of these. So let's grab you for a second. I think it has some more input and output slots. Mm, let's see, I want to make another one of these as well. Let's make hardened stone and tips. Fred also had this, you can actually drag here or you can shift drag and spread all of them. So I can just do this and we Wait, what? Oh no, that uh, that's bad. I need to feel more. Okay, I messed up. Royally messed up. I used a bunch of stone for this dry fitting stone. I hope it's good looking. Uh, it's not that good looking. Okay, let's just grab this. I think this messes with our plan a bit. So I'm gonna try to make at least one craft furnace, then smelt a bit more stone. So copper plate, one of uh, each. Let's just grab the thermal foundation plate here. So this, this and spread. Did I not? What's happening here? Okay, there we go. And that's still just a water and orb restriction. So nothing new or fancy. Let's put you here. Oh, information. So this up here is fuel. Storage for fuel and empty containers. Burn time remaining is indicated by a rectangle around the slots. Oh really? That sounds a bit cool. Let's... Uh, can I convert this back to stone? No, of course not. Learn from me, kids. This is not what you're supposed to do. Let's grab some cobble. Let's grab all of our cobble because if we want more, we'll just get more. Come down here, put it all in. Okay, so I guess this will deplete this way. I like this in the, this is a really smart progress bar because it's not taking up any additional space. It's just recoloring the actual input slot here. That's really clever. And they do two at a time. This is nice. We can configure the slots. Can we? Back. Ah, I don't think they are auto output or anything, but that's cool. Two is the queue for items waiting to be processed. So I guess this is the actual currently processed items. Output and yeah, currently progress. Okay. That's not bad. So I'm gonna need a few more pieces of stone here to make another of, uh, another craft furnace. And let's maybe, can I move you? Would like you maybe over here instead so we can have another furnace here. And I brought a crafting table down just in case. Let's do a few more of these. Why does it drop sometimes? I don't know. That's eight, so... Oh, I think I have enough for another craft furnace. Uh, let's clear this. I need to actually do this first. Cool, then we fill you in. And I need to grab the other plate as well. But these are really nice. Mm, what 
Did I want? Yeah, this guy over here. After the craft furnace, we're gonna make chests and start automating things. I don't think I'll do much progress today. Maybe setting up the sieve. And maybe getting some of this stuff. Because adobe is a bit of a process. And put you down. Maybe give you some of these. I mean, I don't think I need that much in here, to be honest. Nice. And I'll grab some of this with me, so I'm not running out of cobble for this episode. Now, chests is pretty easy. Put them over here. And I made some baguettes. Look at how many, I guess, hunger shanks, extras of saturation you get. Let's take a look at Excel. All of these seem a bit <laughs> over the top. Look at this, 164x of that. That's a kebab. Yeah. I guess this I guess this pack does not have pams. This has this mod instead and that's just that's just crazy. Look at that how full we are. And we get some carbs. And I fried up some fish. So our diet is steadily gonna receive we're gonna get more buffs soon. Let's grab all of these and start making chests. And we don't need to use existing chests to craft that. It's actually just some planks, a trapdoor and a nugget. So I place all of those in there. Then I'm gonna hold shift, try to make as many as possible here. Oh, look at that, we got chests. And we didn't even need to do the adobe first. Haha. <laughs> Genius. Ah, a lot of wood. But I'm fine with that, we can make more. 14 chests. I wonder where I'll put that, because they don't really go on a wall. Was that all of my trapdoors? Didn't I have 15 trapdoors? Maybe not. Yeah, put you in. For now, we'll have to do with 14 chests. I'll make some more trapdoors, I guess. Oh, I made one chest with the... I guess I ran out of the nuggets. Not short. So, how will I do this? Because up, to, up until this point, I have stored everything on the walls. Hmm. I'm gonna have to make a storage room maybe in here. And... Let me move these. Maybe put them down here for now. And I'm not sure I need that many. Yeah, I'm. let's just leave three down here and retire the rest. Start doing a few chests here. Oh, look at that double chests, how nice. So I guess this is the part where we'll have a short break and I, uh, you know, expand expand this room a bit and sort all of my chests and then you know the remaining chests we'll use to automate our strainers yeah so be right back welcome back i've done a bit of you know reorganizing chests and base building so we have a new we have a new facade here you look at that it's <laughs> most of it is inside now let's take a look so I made this a bit wider and let's go up here first before I even start on the inside. I found a lava pocket up here that I want to get rid of at some point because the bubbling, bubbling is a bit annoying. But let's close this off. So I used a mix of uh, encased bricks and, you know, big tile. This is just raw basalt. Oh, hello. Fresh plate. And I did a little bit of, you know, Celtic stuff. Maybe you can tell, but I moved the waddle and daub. And also the, also the concrete, so I need to do a roof here because this looks a bit bad. But it's all down here now. I actually have the daub over here and 
concrete over here so I don't have to see it. It's uh, a bit too bright compared to our other stuff. But I'm really happy with this storage room and I I have blocks in this one, then I have uh, items here and this is placeable things that aren't really blocks but placeable nonetheless and then we have nature stuff, uh, mob drops and valuables. I'll probably try to bring all of these with me because they have you know, it's gonna take a long time to get a stack of each uh, from the strainers, so I might as well have them over in a strainer chest. Uh, let me grab some piping here. And maybe I need another wooden... Yeah, I think I might need another wooden uh, machine. Or, you know, engine. That's the word I'm looking for. There we go. And some wooden pipes. Uh, and that's four. I think we can extract from each strainer now. Let's tear this down. Let's see. There's my stone pickaxe. And I didn't reorganize this because I think it will go ultimately into drawers or chests. We can actually make drawers. And I'm gonna have one for ash, I think, pretty soon because there's so much ash in that block chest. Let's try to heal these. A bit hard to put them down, but there we go. That's that. And we're gonna go up here. And the question is, I want this to be a bit... I think I might want to put this a bit up so it's easier to actually interact with the chests. And for that I'm gonna need... Uh, let's do basalt. So it's gonna be something, let's do it over here, it's gonna be something like this, where the source block is here. Let's try to grab one of you guys. Oh. The water source block will be here, and then we have one extra base here, and then I'm just gonna have a little thing here. I should probably do it in slabs. Let's do stone slabs, right? And maybe harvest this. Let's grab you. Oh no, I'm taking a bath. Let's go over here, jump, jump. So all of these will be, and I'm using the wrong pickaxe, all of these will be slabs uh, so we can see easily. And then, and then I'm gonna extract from the bottom. So we still need some axes here. There we go. Where's my copper saw? I need some. I need some of that sweet slab action. Uh, copper saw. Let's grab the ones I have and some extras. There we go. That's enough for now. Okay, so if we just do something like this. Hmm. Okay, so top side of the block isn't actually full, so we can't place on it. I need to do this. And maybe even do it one up, I guess. Oh. Okay, so we don't have that mod installed where we can pick up the bottom block. So let's do it up here. Bring that around, yeah, and then, okay, I think that's cool. Need to go get all those blocks, and then we're just gonna need to grab one of the source blocks here. Put you here. And that has to be full efficiency right now. And, oh, I guess those iron nets are out. Let's grab these things. For now we'll just do two trainers automated I think. Because they are plenty efficient. So gravity feed pipe. But should I place the chests first? Something like this. And then that. I think that's good. 
unless we do it a bit more. The pipe should be more visible, I think. So let's get rid of that block and this block. Cool, and then I just need to connect these with, I don't think wooden is the right way to go here. I think cobble or clay probably. Clay is balanced, right? I don't know what the properties of the different pipes are. It doesn't really say in the tooltip. And that is here, of course, insertion pipe. So we can insert into the pipe or I guess that is what I think it is. So insertion pipe. Let's try to take you on here. Insertion pipes, then gravity feed pipes. Will work? Oh yeah. That's plenty fast, but oh, this guy needs another, another one. Let me let me get some basalt down here. Neat. Now, now we're talking. So I could just put all of those in here. Did I have anything else that needs to go in here? No. So that's a bit better. Now we have a bigger buffer for things and I'm gonna need new nets here later, but that's not an issue for now. Here we go. I think that's that's good enough for now. And I like having it all in one place and then I can just, you know, compress the dirt. We have chests, guys. It's, uh, it's a big step for us. Uh, let me grab all of this stuff. Put it over here. Just so it's all in one place. Did I... I don't think I brought the gold nuggets. Maybe I want to do that. Yeah, I think I want to bring the gold nuggets. Right now a lot of this is just sand. Look how much sand we have. That's that's crazy. What were we doing again? Yeah, I wanted to bring the nuggets. There we go. Put them up here. The rest of the stuff. And you're not that full, so we can actually go ahead and break these now. I think. Shelf. Break. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Should I put this closer to my base? This doesn't take a lot of space. And the last batch. Cool. Now we just need new nets for that. Let's go put away some of this stuff. Oh, the loam goes in here too. So I think I want to make some dream wood and <laughs> not because it's a part of progression, just because I want some part, like some sort of slab here so we can, it looks better. So we have some kind of staircase or something like that. Do we have dream wood stairs? Oh yeah, there's dream wood stairs. How awesome. Oh. I'm making a mess of things. You go in here. Oh, here we go. Need to eat proteins. Let's take a look. Maybe we want to send, set up uh, sifting too. First this. I noticed that wood logs placed around one of those pure daisies will eventually transform and I can repeat this process again or just leave them there to get even another wood variant. Ah, huh. what variant if you leave it? I thought we got Dreamwood by... Oh, we don't get Dreamwood for... We don't get Dreamwood from the portal, that's uh, that's new. So what do I want to bring? Let's bring a few here. And go to our lovely botany area. 
And would you work? Yeah, you don't need to be placed on grass or anything. Cool. And then we just do the same here. What is what is a living wood used for? Is it something something special in this pack? Just botana things. Can we get the open crate? That's a usually pretty good automation tool. Uh, where's planks? There we go, planks. Yeah, we can get open crates. I'm not sure if we need open crates. Maybe for automating the crucibles instead of a crucible inserter. Mm, can make a horn of the wild, but we have one already. Living wood avatar. If we we can't get diamonds yet, I think. Oh, we can get wood casing. That's interesting, actually. Compost. We compost stuff, start fermenting stuff, but we can't get an ore yet. And we can't get this either, so the wood casing is only for the composter, I think. Let's pick these up and then let the other one go a bit further, so we can turn the quest in. What can we do with compost? Now I'm curious. You can make... we can make biomash? Or is that disabled? Biomass. Biomash, biomass, okay. Yeah, no, bio coal, I guess. Yeah, not much use here, let's wait for this guy. I don't have all day, come on. Let's, it's like watching water boil. Oh no, here we go. It's so pretty, pretty wood. 8-8. Eight, eight. Are you happy? Yeah, you're happy. So, requires gems. I guess that's somewhere here. Hmm, this is locked. Locked behind this, but we already have chests. Haha! -ha. I'm I'm a bit proud about that. It wasn't that hard to spot. With that magical wood, I can make special tree tap that's able to get resin from trees. Smelting the resin allows me to get rubber. Tree tap. Hmm. Okay. So does it say? Yeah, let's get to that, I guess. That doesn't seem awful. This, you don't have to do this on the shopping block, which I appreciate. So it was, I think it was like this. Yeah, tree tap. So is it any tree? Uh, smelting the resin. I guess it's any tree. Do we just need to place you? Oh, it's, it has durability. We only get resin. I guess we smelt that. Ah. That was easy. <laughs> I thought it would take longer. And I don't think I said how you make bread. It's just that you don't even need to make flour. You just do that. That's such an easy recipe. Let's go smelt some of this up. You don't have any tasks. Oh, we can make another craft furnace, which I'll probably do. You can never have too many furnaces. Unless you do have too many furnaces. <laughs> uh, rubber. Let's see. Rubber, 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 rubber. Done. Well. Oh, we can make some armor from that. And electrostatic generator. Huh. We're, we can't do bronze yet. I don't think we have alloying and redstone is not something we can do yet, but at least we have the rubber. So where do I put this? Here, here, here. How many... How many slabs can I get? I just want to see how they look. 
plate. Oh, this actually covers that up. So if I did this maybe, would that look good? Not terrible. Maybe I'll place the last one here. And I would need that to go all the way over here. Hmm. I'm not a huge fan. Might move that. Let's make the sieve. Sieve. And give that a go. Maybe even try for some glass down here. Oh, this grew. I just want to see. Do I get three? Oh. Uh, I got one. So I took all of the coal out from that guy. I think it can go. I don't think it stop ever, ever stops going. Yeah, we need 1100k, 1100 Kelvin to melt that. I wonder if this is accurate. Just give me one second. Couldn't find Kelvin for this, but probably accurate. Put this in. Oh, liquid tin. Let's just start pouring that out, I guess. It's not a full ingot, but we can break this and do that instead of breaking this guy and losing all of our temperature. That's probably the best approach. I usually break this guy, but pouring it out might be better. This is slow. This is like painfully slow. <laughs> what? How do we get clear glass though? Clear glass. Always convert it directly. And what do we need that for? Crystal shards. I guess we're close to combustion. And we are pretty close to a redstone clock here, which might be useful. Where is that? I can't find it. Here it is. The hovering hourglass. So we need gold plates for that. So better start smelting down my nuggets if I want this. And let's see. What can we do with this? We need a block casting table. Okay. Let's get the block casting table from here. Pour this out. I like this block. Pretty neat. So this will be our first piece of glass. One step for humanity. Oh, we get clear glass. With casting, I should probably be able to, yes. Manually pouring the liquid is quite cumbersome. I need to think about automating some processes. Some sort of timer would be would be probably quite handy. I don't think I have any resources to build that though, but I read about a medical device that would work in a similar way. Okay. So if I had an like hourglass up here and then like a gravity pipe under it, it would probably work and pull so I don't need to manually do it with ingots because that's a bit tedious. I'll probably set that up, but not this episode. That's all for this episode. We finally have chests. Oh, that's so nice. And I got around to semi-automating the strainers, which is pretty awesome. I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you next video. Being exiled is lonely. <laughs>